What's up guys and gals, welcome back to Ghost Ship Aftermath. My name is Splattercat, we are here heading down to Fiesta Deck to find ourselves some funsies in this alien infested ship. So far we've been attacked by a naked zombie whose guts were falling out, we've seen lots of dead people, and we've found a laser pistol that's next to useless. Hopefully things start looking up for us in the future, but I can't really say whether they will or won't. This game seems to be fairly dismal. Head down the stairs. Deck 7 is at the bottom of the ship. Carefully. I can't get the motion sensors up and running, so stay frosty and keep your eyes peeled. Of course you can't. Of course you can't. There's no escape. Poos left. <laughs> the escape poos. Every ship should have enough escape poos. Let's go to medical. I found guns on medical deck before. I think we're going to take a risk right now. It's a calculated risk, and it's one that may end up getting us... Hang on. It's a calculated risk, and it one, it's one that might get us killed, but we need a better gun. Without a, without a better gun, we're dead no matter what we do. And so I'm thinking that we're going to go to medical deck and have a look around. I mean, we can always run back to the escape pod. Oh, hell. Where are they? Okay, I got one. Okay, we got two. So two of the bugs are down. I don't know. Those little crazy crickets, I guess is what I'll call them. But they're violent, and they're scary. Oh, I still hear skittering. There's not more of them out here, are there? Damn. I hate this so much. Oh, Christ. Okay, we need to go. We need to go right now. Oh, Christ. Back to the airlock. Pressurized. Oh. Okay, so we know that medical is off limits until we have a better gun. I'm seeing things in there that I've never even seen before, so we need to go. We need to go right now. Oh, my God. Okay, so medical deck. <laughs> you, sir. You, sir, medical deck are off limits. Nice try, though. Nice try, medical deck. Be aware that running away and hiding in the airlock is always an option. You don't have to stand your ground and fight. This game tries to make you think that standing your ground and fighting and, like, having a gun is a good idea. It's a terrible idea. Your gun is not going to be enough. Especially if you're just rocking the laser pistol. If you have the plasma pistol, like, for example, that's the gun that the crewman took at the beginning of the game. If you get to start with the plasma pistol you might be okay because the plasma pistol does like five times as much damage as the laser pistol and it actually puts things away if you've got the plasma rifle we're gonna check out the security deck maybe we'll get a gun here and then we'll go back and clear out medical possibly I don't know if that's a good idea or not okay so far so good I don't know which direction to check. Let me check my oxygen levels. We've got, okay, we got a little over an hour. We'll be okay. If the oxygen machine is busted on the seventh floor, we're bone though. I'm gonna take this very, very slowly. Equipment storage. It's exactly what we're looking for. I don't expect this to be unguarded though. They all ganged up on me. They called me a liar. I said, fuck you. You're going to get what's coming, all of it, bitch. Wow. People losing their minds up in here. I mean, this is a long shot. There may not be anything in here. And we may get ambushed in here, too. This game loves monster closets. Oh, hell. I mean, it depends if you want a freebie helmet or not. I kind of like the one that I have, but... I've gotten attached to it. Once something bears the brunt of my head sweat, I feel attached to it. Okay, so I think we've got nothing in here. Let's go ahead, and I'm going to evac it quick. 
And so now that we've cleared behind us, we can be reasonably assured that nothing's going to be that way. And so if we need to fall back, we can. However, if we do any falling back, I'll more than likely just run to the airlock and take out. Or take off, because... Like I've said before, holding your ground is a bad idea. I'm going to check all of this over here. Stay away. From. Stay away from Brian. He can smell you. Brian? Who's Brian? Did you name the aliens on the ship? Like, I realize there's a need to soften your enemy and give them names. Often humorous ones, but Brian? Eh. Check the interview room. Although I wouldn't think that there would be a firearm or anything in here. Okay, so the interview room is empty. Turn off my headlamp because I don't think we need it. I'm really hoping that this ship uses like red oil. I'm sincerely hoping that some of the hydraulic fluid or something is red because the walls are bleeding like it's the shining up in here and it's really sort of bad. I mean, there's no way that there's enough human beings to put this much blood on the ship. God. Let's check security first, I guess, since there might be a gun over here. God, there's so many corners. I feel very, very exposed right now. I feel like something's gonna run by and bite something off of me. Probably something important. I don't know if that was like maybe a gun receptacle. I mean, I dream. I dream! But that's part of what makes me what I am. Interview room B and briefing room 2. I much prefer the debriefing room. Yeah, baby. Anyways, let's <laughs> let's keep moving. We've got the turret over here. Can I, like, dismount this and walk around with it like a giant shoulder cannon? Because that's pretty much the only way that I'm going to feel better about this whole thing. It looks as though one of the bugs bit us. We lost a little bit of health, so we'll want to keep a lookout for a med kit as well. Interview room 2. A med kit. Okay. I don't know if we should take that now or if we should leave it for when our health is a little bit lower. Wait, am I trapped in here? There we go. I'm going to leave the med kit there because our health is not that low. And if our health ends up at a little bit more of a critical level... I'll come back and I'll use it. Basically, I'm using Wolfenstein tactics right now, leaving things behind that I might need later. So I've sort of lost my way. I think we came from that direction. Yeah, we did. We're good. Things have not gone badly yet. There are so much bullet. I mean, there's so much blood splash around here. Like, seriously. People were highly pressurized when they were shot. Wait, didn't it say that there was like a briefing room down here or something? Oh, isolation, okay. So we've got ISO. It said there was a briefing room though. Where's the briefing room? Briefing room two. Deck six. Unless the turret is the briefing room. I don't see a briefing room anywhere. So I am thinking we are going to s skedaddle. Since we're probably not coming back to this deck, let's go ahead and grab the med kit first. There it is. We're back up to 99 health. Wait for the door to pop back open. And let's be on our way. I think I'm just going to go after the objective. We haven't had any luck so far in finding a gun. Like, this has been a really, really dry run for us. Typically, I found something by now, and I feel like I'm wasting daylight, so we might as well... I mean, we do have limited oxygen. 
So all things to be considered. We could check the brig and see what they're talking about with Brian back here. Don't go near Brian. I'm feeling like I'm really ignoring some warning signs here. It appears as though there's definitely something on the other side of that. You know what? Forget Brian. I'm leaving Brian al Oh, that crate scared me so much. I thought something hit me in the back. Oh my god. <laughs> like hot chocolate through a coffee strainer. God. Making me nervous. Let's just get out of here. I guess we'll do what we're supposed to do. Let's go down to deck 7. We'll refill our oxygen. And I don't know. I 100% just have no idea what we should be doing right now. And we're already on deck 6, so it's only going to take us one more. I've never been attacked in the stairwell, so I would keep that in mind. I don't think anything's ever come after me in the stairwell, although it clearly came after somebody in the stairwell. They lay eggs in you. Well, that's kind of a foregone conclusion, you would think. I mean, isn't that sort of standard fare for ship attacking aliens? That's like what they do. I was under the impression that was their main motivating factor, is they just wanted to have sex with human bodies. Watch out for the green ones. So this, for the replen system. I know where the replo system is. Oh hell! Ow! Did I kill it? Where is it? I mean, I went through another loading screen on accident, but did I kill it? Well, we went through a bunch of ammo, so let me sit here, let my laser pistol recharge. It's going to take it a second. Come on. There we go. You have to restart, so that's a bug. If you actually zone out while your pistol's recharging, it's, it's stuck on whatever ammo it was, so just fire a shot or two. Like I said, this game is a flawed gem. It's got loads and loads of bugs. Like, it's got bugs galore. Not just talking about the ones on the ship, either. And if you dislike bugs, this game is going to drive you crazy, but... I still like it. With the way the storyline changes every time you play, it's crazy. Like how just refreshing the game is each time that you play. I am really like whatever that thing was. Look around for the replay system. Okay, so we know this floor is probably infested with whatever those things are. Let's proceed with caution. We got another one. It's around the corner. I don't know if it's on to us yet. Aim for the head. Always aim for the head. I have no clue what that thing's even supposed to be. It's got one giant eyeball, though. Suppose it's looking out. I like this room because it affords me the ability to see around every single area. Like, so for example, when I come through here, I know that this is clear because I can see all the way around. These wide open rooms don't worry me clear. They don't worry me nearly as much as the corridors do, where you can get yourself trapped very, very easily. And I will have you know that I'm playing this so much slower than I play on my own. I sprint everywhere on my own, which is probably the reason why I get killed so much. Your health, you're very, very fragile. We only got hit once by that thing on the ground, and we're already down to 66 health. So we need to be very, very vigilant when it comes to guarding our health bar. Although it depends how hungry I am, but I always guard my health bar. And of course, I'm talking about granola bars in this case, because granola bars are awesome. And also, they help you be regular. I think the 
Replenishment system is in this room. Let's have a look around for a med kit though, because we could definitely use one. Additionally, I'd like to clear the room before we settle in to refill our oxygen. I would love to be able to verify 100% that there's nothing in here trying to kill us. We'll also be checking some of these other areas in just a moment because we might as well... This is the oxygen replenishment system. Okay, so one is offline and one is online. To use things, you just press the E button. Oxygen replenished. Okay, so we're looking right. good. Let's head up to the bridge on deck one. See if we can access the captain's logs and find out what happened here. The bridge is on deck one. In operation. Okay. So I guess we're headed to deck one now. Don't let them bite you. That seems sort of obvious, doesn't it? I mean, I don't want to be... I mean, you used your own blood to paint the message on the wall. You would assume that it would be something a little bit more pertinent. Like, for real, though. Like, you're telling me the obvious here. How about, like, where is their home base? That's what I would expect to see, like, written in blood on the wall. But simple information like that. Yeah, I, I've got a bad feeling you just wasted your blood there, homie. I and mean, I'm not trying to be a downer or anything, but you should be more careful about that. So there's the oxygenation system. Now that this is down here and we've cleared out the floor, we have an endless supply of oxygen, I think. We should be able to come back, back down whenever we want and refill our oxygen. So let's have a look around. We shouldn't have any problems with sprinting or anything from now on because worst case scenario is we run back down the stairs and we replenish ourselves. Now with my battery, God, we've already used up 16 minutes. I need to be more careful about my flashlight battery. That room's inaccessible. Things popping and fizzling around here. Stop that. I did not give you permission to pop and fizzle. Sounds like a dance move. Getting your pop and fizzle on at the club. Jesus. I don't think we're going to find anything else useful here. I am really disappointed with the fact that we haven't been able to find any weapons that are of any use. It would figure when I sit down to record a series, I would get a horrible run when it comes to firearms. I don't see anything backing in these tanks either, although I can't see very well and I'm too worried to use my flashlight anymore. What the hell was that? Nope. Nope. We out. Close the door. <laughs> it looks like we got bit by something. We lost a little bit of health. That's badsies. I should have saved that med kit on that bottom floor. I knew it. I always make the wrong call. I always make the wrong call. There's one thing you can be sure of, it's that I will screw up and make the wrong call. There's nothing under the stairs. The old hiding the goodies under the stairs trick appears to have not been put into action. So we checked security deck, there was nothing. We checked, well we didn't check that one. Then again, I'm all paranoid. Medical had a bunch of bad guys. I don't want to go back until I have a better gun, although there is the slight fear that tingles within that the better gun might be hidden behind the enemies. Deck 3 we already searched. Deck 2 we already searched. Alright, Deck 1, here we go. On top of the world, briefly. Hold on while I pressurize the compartment. Oh, I've got nothing better to do. I mean, you said no risk, so I'm not understanding why you're expecting me to stay on the ship right now. You said this was a no-risk operation, and so I feel like I should be sort of entitled to head back towards the ship and leave. But, I guess that would make for a boring game. Head for the bridge. Carefully. Why do you sound- why are you shouting? Stop. 
It's hard for me to function when you're being all uppity right now. It's got the bridge on the right. We've got communications on the left. Let's check comms first. Because I... I desperately want a better gun. I can't tell you how much I want a better gun. I really sincerely do. The elevator's open. Never seen that before. And it looks like the door panel's yellow, so this may not even open. This door is locked down. By the looks of it, it can be unlocked in security. But I don't know if you really want to find out what's in there. Yeah, it does say if it's locked, it's locked for a reason on the wall. So we can unlock it from security deck. I'll log that away for later. Keep that in my head, Noodle. Just in case we decide to go on any side quests in the future because, <laughs> main storyline quests. Who actually does those? Treat this like Skyrim and just wander around forever accomplishing nothing. Which is basically how all of my Elder Scrolls playthroughs go. I never accomplish anything in those games. I just wander around and I become like the hero of random villages and then... I don't know. I never quite achieve my potential of being the awesome dude I should be. I mean, I was already Dovahkiin, so there's that, but... What's this way? You'd think that they would put a label right here on this wall so that you know which direction you were going in. So we've got communications and we've got the bridge. How did I read that from so far away? My brain totally filled that in when it was all blurry. That's weird. Oh no. Look how dark that way is. I don't like that at all. It's like a big looming green eye staring at me from that direction. A facet of this adventure which I am not inclined to look at very long. This door has been aired out. So the question becomes do we go that way? I'm thinking no. I'm thinking I'm going to go this way. Because I like this way better. This way doesn't seem quite as risky. I mean, this all seems like it's probably going to wind up with me and many, many pieces are inside the belly of an alien, but... We do what we can with what we have. Movement! It's closed! It's on that deck! Oh, hell, what is that? Oh, we killed it. Is that a giant flea? What the hell was that thing? We're not looking so good right now. We're in bad shape. And we really have no way to replenish ourselves either. Oh, hell. This could be it. Our suit is depressurizing. I don't think it actually does anything. Okay, this is the bridge. The captain's console is the one in the center of the bridge. Whose idea was it to put this like obnoxious beep on my suit when I'm unhealthy? Get the biggest gun you can find, you will need it. Yeah, I'm getting that feeling too. Thank you for the cogent advice once more. Let's just see if we can finish the mission. Looks like the terminal is locked down. Asmi could have unlocked it, but the captain's secure car could unlock it. Have a look around the bridge. See if you can find it. Or the captain. Okay, so apparently we're taking a look around the bridge to see if we can find the captain or his key card. Either or. And maybe to find a way to stop this obnoxious beeping. Although I am feeling quite fragged at the moment, so I don't know. I don't see key cards or anything anywhere. I'm hoping that that splotch is not the captain. It could be. They know you're here. You're, you're, you're. Come on now. Come on now. You are here. There we go. There's no excuse for not knowing you're yours, you're yours, and you're yours's. 
I suppose we go to tactical then? I don't see anything in that room, so I'm guessing maybe we go somewhere else. We've got to find the captain, and he could be anywhere on the ship. They make it sound like he might be on the bridge, but I'm not so easily convinced. Oh, a med kit, hell yes. There we go. Wow. Talk about lucky find. Okay, so we got ourselves a med kit. We've got 91 health. Let's go ahead and take a look. I'm feeling bolstered now. I'm not feeling quite so beat up anymore. But when I'm at low health, I get paranoid. Very. I'm already paranoid to start out, but I get even more paranoid when my health is low. Let's take a brief look down this way. God. Like somebody finger it's like somebody finger painted in entrails in here. Their operations room. This one's aired out as well. Damn, last time I was able to get in there. Our lack of a gun is really, really hurting us. If we had a real firearm right now, none of these enemies would even be a threat. And I have had playthroughs where you get a very, very good gun early on, and it makes it almost too easy, but... Having this terrible gun that relies almost entirely on headshots is not necessarily something that I'm obliged to trade that situation for. I don't see a keycard anywhere. Like, admittedly, it's very dark, and I can't see anything in here without using my flashlight. But I don't think the captain's key card is in here. I don't see anything that looks like a key card anyways. I give it one more rough sweep since I'm feeling sort of handsy today. But should have better lighting in here. I feel like this is a lawsuit waiting to happen when somebody has like eye problems. Or somebody trips over something. Like, I am suing the Goliath! For 80 bajillion galactic credits. Yeah, I don't think it's in here. I think this is all pretty much boned. We've got 38 minutes of flashlight battery left. We've almost gone through half of it. I'm going to try and be very, very... I'm going to try and aim for conservation. When it comes to the flashlight from now on, but the game is just so dark that sometimes it's like, how are you supposed to find a key card or anything without your flashlight? So I think that's probably the fundamental concern that they're trying to raise in the gameplay design. And maybe down there? I mean, I don't like... I've got movement! It's there! Close! Oh hell, there's a bunch of them. Lots of them! They're heading straight towards you! Oh, run away! Run away! Yeah, let's get out of here. Live to fight another day and all that. We just don't have the weaponry. We don't have the artillery right now to fight multiple enemies. I think this is a good spot to break off the episode. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next action-packed episode of Ghost Ship Aftermath. I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Take care out there, everybody, and as always, I do.